Welcome back to the channel. As I said in the past episode, this one we're gonna hear this thing run. So, let's go ahead and get busy. Basically all we have to do is finish plugging everything in and hooking everything up. We gotta put the radiator in, the uh, AC condenser, um, all the fluids, uh, injector, spark plugs, all the wiring. Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting a few things here and there, but I will explain as much as I can as we go. Um, this is going to be a good episode, in my opinion, because, like I said, we're going to hear this thing run. Gotta hope it sounds good. We'll see you soon. All right. I'm going to pull this throttle body back off so we can throw in the spark plugs and the injectors. Um, but, uh, hook up the fuel line, coil packs, and then we'll start with all the wiring. The nice thing about this wiring is most of it will lay right where it needs to be plugged in once I move it back in the proper position, which makes things a thousand times easier. Uh, so, I'm going to get busy on that. Um, there's really nothing special to go over here. Uh, basically, put it back together the way you took it apart. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy. If not, follow along. Spark plugs that I'm using, uh, NGK V-Power TR55s. These do come pre-gapped. Um, shouldn't be any issue here. Not running a high boost engine. I'm not running a boost engine, actually. Um, so these are just basically stock replacements, uh, but they, they are a little bit better than the, uh, the typical Ford stuff. What is it, Autolite? I don't like Autolite. NGK is what I use in all my vehicles, uh, so I do recommend these. But I'd like to uh, do these by hand because you do not want to strip out the threads and these aluminum heads. If you do, you're gonna hate yourself. Keep in mind, you do not want to over torque these. Again, aluminum heads. You can rip the threads right out. In case you were wondering what I'm doing, I'm cutting one of these heater hoses because the stock setup on these Mustangs has the coolant tube that goes in the valley of the block ending on this side of the engine. However, the Grand Marquis water tube um, comes all the way up over here. So I'm basically cutting this hose smaller so I can just use what's in it.
So the camera died, however you didn't miss much. Basically I just continued to plug in uh, this bank of injectors and coil packs, uh, plugged in other miscellaneous items. I did install the alternator and ran across the issue that the person who had this before me used a alternator bracket that is not for these cars. However, it works. I'll replace it uh, probably this week or next whenever I order a new one, but it'll do the trick for now. So now we're going to throw on the serpentine belt. What else? What else? They should just continue getting this thing ready. We'll throw in the, uh, the radiator, the AC condenser. The AC condenser also needs replaced, but for the sake of uh, the test, I'm going to go ahead and throw it on there anyway. Uh, I'm sure I'm forgetting some steps here. I did get uh, all the fluids. I got oil for the engine. I got some just cheap stuff because I'm going to change it after 100 miles or so, maybe a little less. Um, I did get uh, new transmission fluid. Um, a lot of that leaked out when we was removing and installing the engine, so it'd be a good idea to change it anyway. It's probably never been done. Um, throw the drive shaft back on there and just button up what I can and uh, see if this thing runs. Well, we're taking a quick break. I don't know how much you guys seen of all that, but um, got a lot done. It's it's just about ready to start, I'd say. Let's see here. So, as you can see, got the coolant tank, AC condenser, which is, I think, junk, uh, radiator, battery, all the connections, all the radiator hoses. I do got to put on the air intake yet. I, I don't see anything missing. Um, I don't know, you may, you may or may not have noticed, but the EGR valve that I threw on the intake is not complete. As I mentioned previously, I am doing an EGR delete. Uh, there is a brass cap on the header blocking off the EGR port there. However, because I will be running stock for a couple weeks until my new intake setup gets here, I needed something to block off uh, the EGR port on the throttle body. So we just pinched the tube, plugged it all in, and called it good. Um, it'll work for a couple weeks, which to be honest with you, this thing's not going to be on the road even by then. So it's neither here nor there. So what we got left, uh, you see me fill her with oil, new filter. I am going to fill up the transmission with fluid. I will be putting the shifter back in. Uh, we will then push her forward a little bit, throw the drive shaft on there. And I think it'll be ready to start at that point. I'm really excited. Hope you guys are too. Let's get busy with that. And uh, let's hear what this thing sounds like. All right, these transmissions, you can fill them through the shifter hole. Um, they hold, what, 3.25 quarts or something like that. Basically, the easiest way to do it is after you drain it, take out the fill plug on the bottom of the transmission. When you start to see fluid dripping out of the fill plug, you'll know it's full. Um, that's the easiest way to do it. Uh, I've already put in the uh, other two quarts. There's a little bit left in there, but I'm gonna put in the third one now. Um, make sure it drips out of the fill port. and Then we're gonna throw the shifter in. All right, next step, get the actual shifter seated back in. It goes in the same way you took it out. Thank you. 
This is a terrible shift knob. That's what I got right now, so we're gonna rock it. All right, moment of truth. I haven't tried it yet. We're gonna see what it does. sounds pretty good it's a little loud obviously with open headers I went ahead and uh, connected the rest of the exhaust it does have a um, off-road X uh, going into some MagnaFlow mufflers it's a little quieter than I'd like um, it's it's not got that real noticeable cam low which that's partly because of the type of cam I'm using uh, the, the the cam I'm using now, you know, can be used with factory valve springs, valves, all that good stuff. So it's not an incredibly aggressive cam. It would actually be really good for a boost application, which, like I've said a thousand times now, I'd love to go that route. But uh, we'll get to that point. But I'm gonna start it up and let you guys hear what it sounds like with the rest of the exhaust. I'm sure you can hear it. I hope you can hear me over it, but uh, here's what it sounds like. Alright, so let me know what you think. I mean, it's not, not the loudest thing in the world. Obviously, being in the garage makes it a little bit more loud, but... Uh, uh, it has a nice tone to it. Um, pretty happy with the way you know the tone is. I do wish there was a little more of the noticeable cam lope that you would normally get, uh, but you know it's a little easier to do it this way than have to mess with the valve springs and uh, all that good stuff. With that being said, it would have been perfect time to do that kind of thing when the engine was out of the car. Neither here nor there. It is what it is. Stay tuned for uh, next week. You know we're gonna be. I got some parts coming. Um, we're gonna start putting the car back together. Uh, once it's completely back together, we're gonna start planning for the new paint job. Uh, I am gonna be doing the paint job myself. Hopefully it turns out good, but that's a few videos down the road. But uh, next week, uh, I got I got some new pieces coming. Nothing nothing radical or anything like that. Just more Mustang stuff to get this thing road worthy. It's been a long day, uh, well worth it. Uh, I filmed as much as I possibly could. The car runs, the car drives, and there's no issues. I do need to get a tune yet, obviously. Uh, when you throw a new set of cams or any major modification, you've got to have a tune, preferably a dyno tune. Unfortunately, there's not really any dyno tuners close to me, so email tuning it is. Uh, probably go with the VMP tuning that you can get through American Muscle. Uh, the guy I used a few years back, I guess, is no longer doing it, so... I hear good things about VMP, so we'll see how that goes. We'll probably load that next week as well. Um, but if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, I encourage you to do so. Uh, there'll be plenty more videos just like this down the road, hopefully with funner and bigger and better things. But uh, appreciate you stopping in. Until next time.